Hi, hey, it's Sexy J. Quick and dirty time. And we're doing a series on central idea and details questions. Why? Because Khan Academy just made it one category, but there's so many more categories that you have to know to really do well on the test. So today's topic is details. And I'm going to put this in caps. No extremes. And if you guys watch my other videos on the paper SAT, I already made a point about this and also on the ACT. So this is a super, super fundamental point that's on every single standardized reading test. Okay, so we're going to avoid the extreme answers. Disclaimer, I made this question, as you guys know, and none of these things in this question are real. I made it all up. There is no language called Blancanese. Okay, uh, there isn't a science fiction author named Hubert Nebula. Or maybe there is, I don't know, okay? So this is all just made up by me for you guys. And these questions that I'm doing right now are made on the June International SAT Digital. So these are very much super similar to what SAT is giving out on the real test right now. So let's look at this question. The text makes which point? Notice how we don't have main idea, main purpose, primary. What does that mean? It is not a central idea question. It is a detail question. Okay. So what detail are we looking for? So for these, if it's which point and it's detail, these are really, really even more so than the other ones by POE. I don't think I've used that acronym before, but you guys probably know what that means. What does POE stand for? Yep. Process of elimination. For each answer choice, I'm looking for what is the word or phrase which allows me to eliminate this answer choice. Again, that thought process, hopefully, for long-time subscribers, sounds pretty familiar because that's how we do the ACT, the digital SAT, the paper SAT, all of these tests. Okay. So take a second to uh, read through this text. You guys took a second. Okay. Let's go through these. So which one of these things would be terrible answers? Probably... I kind of almost did this on purpose. Like this is what I would do to teach the lesson. But this again is based on the real test question. So they were kind enough to give us three answer choices that are just straight up bad because of these key words that you guys should memorize like right now. Okay. So A, I have cannot. That means 0%. Any answer that means 0% chance or 100% chance, those are extremes you take them out. B. The word soul, that means this is the only example in the world. There isn't anything else. Really, really unlikely. And then C, we'll get, so let's get rid of A and B first. C, what do you guys think is the extreme word here? I say, oh, none of those things seem that extreme to me. That is true. In real life, I wouldn't really call any of these extreme words. But first of all, let's put, see the trap here. You see how the passage ends with numerous examples. Yeah. And then I have numerous other words. They're using similar wording from the passage as they almost do with every single question to make it a trap answer. So if you're rushing, you might pick this one just because this phrase sounds similar to that phrase. But you cannot, as you guys know, you cannot say this is the answer because of this part. You can only say this is the answer because every single part of the answer choice works. Okay? So this word right here, identical. Doesn't sound like an extreme, but it is an extreme answer in terms of SAT, okay? Identical is an extreme answer. If the word was similar, that's okay. So what SAT does a lot is they will take cases in which the word similar works, but identical does not, okay? For example, my brother and I, we look pretty similar because we are related, yeah? We do not look identical because we are not twins. Okay. Or you could say a lot of culturally insensitive things by using the word identical. Okay. There are similarities, for example, between um, uh, uh, Vietnamese culture and Thai culture. Sure. Could you say those are identical cultures? No, no way. You get canceled because you'd be wrong. Yeah. So identical in meaning? I have no idea. Probably not true. So the answer here is D. It includes a repetition of the element Hmong because... The element Hmong gets repeated. That was it, right? And as you guys have noticed from the pattern, hopefully you guys are clever people, right? The evidence is most likely to come from the last two sentences of the text. And in this case, it was the second to last sentence. Vocab of the day, second to last. The vocab is penultimate. Am I going to use that word again? No, because it doesn't come up with SAT. But I just want to talk about words because I like words. Okay. So this is, again, a detailed question. Let me summarize, guys. We want to... Um, 
eliminate the extreme answers. The answers that say 100%, 0%, the only one, and also the word, we, the word we learned today, the word identical. Doesn't look like an extreme, but it is an extreme. So you go with the least extreme answer, which is D here. And where should be the first place you look for your answers? The last two sentences of the passage. In this case, second to last sentence. And that's it for today's Quick and Dirty. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you for the you know, comments and engagement. I will get to all the comments as soon as possible. I love you guys. Thank you. Study every day with Sexy J. That's the best way. You already know. Bye-bye.